I'm gonna be challenging myself to build 10 exotic, terrifying, vicious creatures from Ninjago. And I cannot wait to take you on this ride with me. The first monster we have on the list is this chicken. It may look normal on the outside, but if you get it mad, it will blow up and quite possibly shock you to death. That may seem gruesome. I don't know who came up with the idea of an electric chicken, but they're a genius. This chicken appears in the episode Wasted True Potential, and it demolishes the ninja. Here's my flock of beautiful chicken. We're gonna grab one of them, paint them blue, put some awesome blue lightning stripes on them, and surround it with a bunch of ninjas so we can shock them all. I'm sure Dareth could have taken this chicken out in one fell swoop. The man is a born legend. But this innocent lightning chicken has just scratched the surface. <laughs> Next on the list, we have the Astro Parasites. Bugs. These are tiny little bugs that first appear in the Void episode from Rebooted. These are metal-eating parasites, and they are terrifying. So get ready for the build montage. Oh wait, no, there's, sorry. It's just, it's a one-by-one one lime green dot. So I put them in a jar here so they wouldn't escape and devour everything I made. But I'm really curious to test them out on uh, a couple things. First off, the lightning chicken. Oh my. Our next experiment is on Master Chen. Hmm, kind of sad. Yeah, kind of sad. Let's see what they do about a McLaren. That was way sadder than the Master Chen one. For the final test, we have a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yes, it worked. Nope. My beautiful T-Rex is now officially a pile of bones. Now these little bugs were getting out of control. They even ate a couple of my Lego pieces. So I had to get a fly swatter and start smacking them. Thankfully, I got rid of most of them. This next creature is not super terrifying, but with the name Walloper, I don't think you could trust that. They say it's a species of yak, and it inhabits the Force of Tranquility and the Wailing Alps. So we're gonna build one Yakety Split. We have the yak. I use nougat quarter circles to make the fur shaggy at the bottom. I got the horns from the kangaroo horse thing from Star Wars and painted those silver. The last thing to do is set Kai on it. No more using Destiny's bounty for transportation when you have the awesome yak mobile to take you anywhere in Ninjago. Fly. The next species on the list is very underwhelming, or should I say underworlding. These are the spike wars from the underworld that have a skull on their abdomen, which is very strange to say the least. Evidently, they made one Bruh. in Garminon's Dark Fortress. I'm gonna make the actual one from the show. Quick time-lapse build, and here we have it. It's perfect, it looks like it does in the show, and now it can terrorize wandering travelers in the underworld. Well, okay, that was, that was Master Wu. Whoa, 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 take it easy, Wu, take it easy. In the number five spot, we have the Kraglings. They first appear in the episode, The Royal Blacksmith, when after Wu uses a traveler's tea to go find his brother Garmadon. They encounter what look like the old rock monsters from 2008 Power Miners Lego. But since I don't have any of those rock monsters- seven dollars for this guy. I think I'm good. We're gonna speed build our own. In order to make the eyebrows angry, I use these transparent pieces that help you angle pieces. Basically, the only color scheme here is dark gray, with the exception of his giant pearly white teeth. Now that we have the rock, no pun intended, and it's time to put him up against some of the best Lego arm wrestlers. Troll. Dog shank. Mungus. Oh, what do we have here, Sandy? This guy is intimidating. There is no way. Hulk. We have a new arm wrestling champion. When you think of iconic Ninjago creatures, your mind usually goes straight towards the sand eel. The what? It's evidently a creature that first appeared in the episode, My Dinner with Nauticon. Its species is worm. Now, we're gonna build this thing. It's got a massive mouth going for it. I use these big, dark tan slow pieces to make the mouth. And the tiny blue hands are just these little robot arm pieces in slate blue. Now that we have this sand eel, we can recreate the episode. So there we have it guys, we've recreated this awesome scene. We've got the sand eel here eating Lloyd. Cole has given up and is just crying now. And Nia is running for her life. 
from here on out, the creatures get way more vicious and a bit more terrifying. The next monster on the list is the Dire Bats. And no, they do not live on Dire Island. No, they are not related to Milton Dire. You can find them in Chintara Mountain. The main color I used was white. He's got two small bat wings on his legs and two bigger bat wings on his shoulder. For the shoulder wings, I used four bat wings. He's got two very scary yellow eyes. And at this point, I don't know if you could call this a bat. It's a real monster. But the question becomes, could this Dire Bat take down Destiny's Bounty? Three, two, Dire Bat versus Destiny's Bounty, Dire Bat would win every day of the week. <laughs> Next up, we have one of the classic Ninjaga monsters, the Grundle. This is a very ancient creature that first appeared in the episode Child's Play. Garbodon brings it back to life with his mega weapon, and this monster starts terrorizing Ninjago until the ninja come to their rescue. With all that aside, let's start building. I got out all my dark red pieces. I had to be very conservative with my piece usage because I didn't have that much dark red to work with. I added a bunch of bright red spikes and put in eyes that look straight into your soul. I also laid on a massive racket key for this guy so he could rack up those ninjas, and now I can terrorize the citizens of Ninjago until Lloyd shows up. Oh, great. And we're going to see which one of these Lloyds can defeat the Grundle in a fist fight. It's gone again. Looks Next up, we got ZX Lloyd. Next up, Casual Lloyd. Nope. Dead. Prime Empire Lloyd? Scuba Lloyd? Hero Lloyd? Oh! Jungle Lloyd? And a Golden Lloyd. Oh, they're officially extinct, guys. You see a lot of different like giant octopus, giant squids, giant krakens throughout Ninjago. So the main color I'm gonna use here is teal. And I made a circle of 10 socket joints that could connect all the tentacles. So here's a table of the different eyes they make. They make tiny one by ones, two by twos, and they make three by threes, which are huge. So we're gonna use those ones. We've also got some giant tentacles and a couple smaller tentacles. Oh, there's a bug. I also added a terrifying mouth. Now this massive leviathan is complete. We've got the Destiny's Bounty sailing along when suddenly the Kraken comes up and starts attacking this beautiful ship. The ninjas have no choice but to start fighting. They get out their katanas and start chopping the tentacles off. Sadly, the mass from this horse's feet falls off and the ninjas are stranded in the ocean. But Zane, the titanium ninja, jumps straight into its gaping mouth and freezes it from the inside out. Don't tell anyone but Zane is the best ninja. Before we build the last massive creature here, we got a bunch of our favorite monsters from this video and made digital instructions so you can pick them up at brick-legends.com or you can go into the description and now you can buy instructions for some of your favorite Ninjago creatures. Now, tree horns are a species of creature from Ninjago that live in like a snowy birch forest. They first appear in the episode Tick Tock. And back two years ago when I started building Ninjago Vox, I actually made a tree horn. <laughs> you serious? We're gonna build anything to scale tree horn queen. Now this head is lined with like 10 pink eyes. The body is pretty skinny and for the legs we had to order 80 2 by 2 round barrels. In order to make the knees look like they're bending forward, we use these big macaroni pieces. Now the tree horn queen is complete and ready to lay waste to Ninjago. Oh, okay, I did not mean that literally. This thing is tearing apart Ninjago. Nothing can stop this, not even the ninja. This is really bad. We need a greater force. All the monsters have assembled together. The battle is on. <laughs> 